Now we'll start with the next problem on prism. A pentagonal prism of 40 mm edge of base and 70 mm length of axis is having an edge of the base in the HP and the rectangular face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to the HP and perpendicular to the BP. Draw its projection. Now here it is a pentagonal prism. So base will be a pentagon of size 40 mm and axis is 70 mm. Now since one of the base edge is in the HP, so I need to draw the pentagon keeping one of the base edge on the right hand side and initially I will assume that the entire base is in, in the HP, lying in the HP. So the, that base can be seen from the top view as a true shape. So in the first stage, I will draw the base which is a pentagon in the top view that means below xy and then corresponding front view will be a rectangle. So again I need to leave more space above the reference line because axis is 70 mm and base is only 40 mm. So starting with the reference line, first draw a line perpendicular on the right hand uh, perpendicular to xy on the right hand side because one of the base edge is in the hp so in second stage if i want to keep that base edge in the hp so that edge should be on the right hand side because we are going to tilt that solid on the right hand side so first i'll draw the pentagon with one of its base edge perpendicular to xy and that base edge should be on the right hand side. So I will mark the length of base which is 40 mm you need to start the base some distance below xy because pentagon is having angle 108 so its other edge should not after drawing the other edge it should not cut the xy line so leave some space, sufficient space below xy. So I'll mark that base edge 40. Now the angle between the two sides of a pentagon is 108. Now here many of the students make mistake while drawing the pentagon in measuring the angles. So the angle between the two sides of a pentagon is 108. So 90. 100 and then 8 degrees similarly from other corner now I need to measure in this direction so 90, 100 and then 108 okay. now along these angles I will produce the side of 40 mm so first I'll produce a random length, then I'll mark 40 mm on that. Now you can mark with the help of compass. So I'll take this 40 mm length in compass. And we can mark the remaining sides. So now we have drawn the three sides of the pentagon. Now remaining two can be drawn, cutting the arc from the points which are already marked. So we already learned to draw the pentagon in school geometry. But still many of the students make the mistake while measuring the angle. So remember for pentagon the angle is 108 degrees. So we have drawn the pentagon keeping one of the base edge perpendicular to the xy line and that base edge is on the right hand side. So obviously the corner is coming on the left hand side. Now to locate the position of the axis in top view, the method is first Mark the midpoints of any two sides 
that is 20 mm and again here I'll mark 20 mm then just produce a line from the opposite corner up to the midpoint of the opposite side again from this corner I need to join up to the midpoint of opposite side so the intersection of these two lines will give me the position of axis now from here from the top view now I can draw the front view so the required length in the front view is 70 mm because axis is 70 mm so I produce each corner from top view in the front view okay then I will produce the axis and the axis should be long dash short dash then this corner and this corner will coincide so I will produce only one projector for both then again the corner so this should be parallel your scale should not be tilted in between now I will mark the axis of 70 mm from on this line and it should be shown as a long dash short dash and a light line ok now first I will give the notations in top view as we have done in square prism at each corner there are two points that means one for top base and one for bottom base so I will start numbering starting from here I will denote a, uh, a, B, C, D alphabets for top base and 1, 2, 3, 4 digits for bottom base. So along with A, I will write 1 for first corner, then B, 2, C, 3, top in uh, notations are without dash, then D, 4 and E, 5. The same notations I will show in the front view but with dash. So this will be the base because we, are, we have assumed that the base is lying in the HP so this line will show the base in the front view now we have marked the 70 mm axis so we can draw a parallel line at 70 mm that will give me the top base for that pentagonal prism and I have to mark the vertical edges so obviously this vertical edges this is on the boundary so it will be dark again this vertical edge will be visible to the observer because observer will be looking from this side for front view obviously this edge is not visible but this edge is visible so I will make that dark and obviously the remaining side is again dark now I will show the notations in front view so we have assumed 1, 2, 3, 4 as a bottom base and ABCD as a top base so I will show here 1 dash and A dash for top base here there is only one vertical edge but here two edges are coinciding which are uh, 2 and B and E and 5 so for bottom base the notations are 2 dash and 5 dash and for top base the notations are B dash and E dash similarly here two vertical edges are coinciding which are C3 and D4 so for bottom base I will get 3 dash and 4 dash and for top base C dash and D dash now for next stage uh, the rectangular face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to the HP now rectangular face here from the front view we can see 3C D4 is nothing but a rectangular face which can be seen as a line in front view which is 3 dash 4 dash C dash D dash since two vertical edges are coinciding and again two edges of the base which are C D and 3 4 okay so this will give me the rectangular face as a line in front view the same line I need to rotate by 30 degree for next stage so I will redraw the front view as it is with this line inclined at 30 degree 
so that will again say uh, keep this age three four one of the base age there are for initial condition is one of the base age should line the HP so I'll keep this point three dash four dash on the XY line so that will also satisfy that condition so first I'll mark three dash four dash and then I'll make this line inclined at 30 degree to the HP now we'll measure the angle of 30 degree from this point 3 dash 4 dash which is nothing but a base edge containing that rectangular face which is this edge so first draw the inclination of 30 degree and along that inclination mark that rectangular uh, face ok so we will take this much distance in the compass and I have to mark that along this inclined face so we have made that rectangular face containing this base, base edge which is 3 dash 4 dash inclined at 30 degrees so other notations here are C dash D dash now with respect to this we will redraw this front view as it is as we know these two bases this line and this line are perpendicular to this rectangular face so we will draw two perpendiculars from each end point of that rectangular face to draw the redraw the basis in front view Now, we will draw those perpendicular lines, so 1, 2, and again 2, so on these we need to mark now with 3 dash 4 dash I will mark this bottom base on that perpendicular, so I will take this much distance in the compass and cut an arc, similarly for top base I will take this edge which will be same as bottom base so I need to extend it more again we need to mark other divisions in between which are the axis here and then this point 2 dash 5 dash no need to again mark for top base because they are parallel to each other so just marking on the one base and drawing the parallel lines we can get it on other face so before that we will mark the axis OO here and here O dash O dash so now we will complete the front view redrawing the front view in front uh, this second stage so we will draw with the same visibility whatever lines are dark will be shown dark as it is now again I need to draw a parallel line now two bases this do both the bases are getting tilted this is the bottom base and this will be the top base ok and again I need to show now this arc is for axis O dash O dash so it should not be drawn dark it should be light and with long dash and short dash then remaining is this edge which should be made dark now to show the notations as it is so o dash o dash o dash phi dash for bottom base and then b dash e dash for top base again 1 dash for bottom base and a dash for top base now dropping the projectors from front view and top view will complete the final answer so we will drop the projectors from each corner be careful while dropping the projector don't tilt that roller because it will produce an error so we are just producing the projectors from each corner
also include the axis. Now after project, projecting from front view, I'll project from top view horizontally. Again, be careful while drawing the parallel lines. So you have to project from each corner. Now after dropping the projectors, we will locate the each corner. So one dash projector from one dash and one as done in previous problem, we will just go on locating those points. Then five will be here, then two will be here, and then three projector from three and three. So three will be here and four will be here. Don't make mistakes while marking. So after joining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I will get the bottom base. Similarly, I will locate the top base that is A, B, C, D, E. So for A and A, I can locate A here. Then B projector is this, but B is below. So B. Then on the same projector, I will get E. Then again, on this projector 3, so for, uh, sorry, C. So C will be here and D will be here. Okay. Now remaining part is axis. So O will be here and O will be here. Now before joining the edges, that means base edges and vertical edges. So first we'll calculate how many total edges need to be drawn. Since it is a pentagon prism, so both the top and bottom base we need to draw 5 plus 5, 10 edges for the bases and then 5 vertical edges. So total I need to draw 15 edges. Okay. So the first rule is whatever is lying on the boundary, it should be dark. So I can see that bottom base age 1, 5, then 1, 2 is lying on the boundary. So I will make it dark. Okay. Then for top base, I am getting CD on the boundary, then BC, and ED are also on the boundary. Then the vertical edges, among the vertical edges, 2B and 5E are also on the boundary. So I will make it dark without looking at the front view direction, sorry, top view direction. So the first tool says that whatever is lying in the boundary on the boundary should be made dark. Now I will look for the visibility from observer point of view. So if the observer is looking from top, the only portion visible to him is portion above this line as well as portion above this line. So for the observer, the entire top base that is A, B, C, D, E is visible. So I will make the entire top base dark. So out of that we have already made three edges dark so I need to just join the two edges AB and AE and make them dark because those are visible to the observer. Now coming to the bottom base since this part below this line is below this line which is not visible to the observer so entire top, uh, bottom base is not visible to the observer but among those five edges, two edges are lying on the boundary which are already made dark. So remaining edges, I can make them dotted because that, those are not visible to the observer. Dotted but dark. So we have completed all the base edges, five for top base and five for bottom base. Now we'll move to the vertical edges. Out of the 5 vertical edges, 2 are already lying on the boundary, 2B and 5E. Now, we will see remaining edges, vertical edges. One of them is A, 1A, which is visible to the observer, nearest to the observer. So, that should be made dark. So, 1A I will join with a dark line. Now, remaining 2 edges, which are 
3C and 4D are farthest from the observer and since lying below this line, below these two lines, so those edges are not visible to the observer. So I will make those two edges from 3 to C and 4 to D. Got it. And one more rule of visibility, if from every corner you will get three edges. So out of them, before drawing this dotted line, we have already drawn these two light li uh, this dotted lines. So obviously third will be dotted line. So this is again the one rule of visibility. So if two uh, uh, all the three lines, uh, if two lines are dotted, then third line is obviously going to be a dotted line. Now this completes the solution, but we need to also mark the dimensions. So I'll show the best length, edge of the base for a pentagon, which is 40 mm. Then axis height, which is 70 mm. And then we need to show this inclination made by the rectangular face 3C 4D. So I can directly show it here, theta as 30 degree. Okay. So this completes the solution for this particular problem.